started watching television and one of the main programs was Gilligan's Island and practically every episode Marianne came out with a coconut cream pie so I always wanted uh, to make or even taste a beautiful coconut cream pie so this one here is a macadamia banana coconut cream cheesecake on a beautiful macadamia, macadamia salted crust so this is to die for it's a beautiful beautiful recipe and you can make a myriad of different uh, flavors and designs from this base. So the first thing we need to do is make our macadamia and salted caramel pie crust. So let's get started. So we need one cup of raw macadamia nuts. We need half a cup of shredded or flaked coconut. We need half a cup of dates or about six to seven dates. We need a quarter of a cup of ground flaxseed meal one teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt and two tablespoons of melted coconut oil. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to make the macadamias into a type of a flour. And we have to the food processor. So everything in this section will be in the food processor. Pulse it first. Next we add the coconut. And we process that as well. Okay, that's looking good. Next this goes into pitted dates. And this is what's going to bind it all together. You've got to try not to eat this as you make it because it's very delicious. Yep, it's already looking sticky. So we'll now add the rest of the ingredients. The addition of the salt in this to make it like a salted crust is absolutely divine. But put in enough or less salt to taste, whatever you're happy with. The ground flaxseed meal, which will also bind it all together to give it a lot of uh, nutrients. And then what's going to make it set is the coconut oil. It's all coming together now, so we can start pour start putting that into the pan now. Okay, we've got our, our pan here, and um, I've put a little tiny bit of coating of coconut oil so it doesn't stick. But because the bottom comes out, you don't have a lot of problems with taking it out of here. Um, you can put the base up the sides, but for this particular one, I'm just going to have it on the bottom so you can see the layers. So basically all we need to do is add it to the pan and spread her out. So now we've got our beautiful base. It's all smoothed out. It looks beautiful. And I've resisted the temptation to taste it. <laughs> it just looks delicious. So now we've got it nicely smoothed out. All we need to do now is add it to the freezer uh, to set while we do the second layer. And we're well on our way.